both stalls. But for, you know, you need the prerequisites to be able to do a little bit of isolation. You need to basically be able to reverse the left, reverse the right, reverse the left, reverse the right. But then when you want to do a really clean down stall or up stall, it's good to have a wall. So here's a wall, uh, but first an explanation of why you need the wall. You can do stalls, I mean, you, typically when you do a nice fast stall, you do it along an imaginary line. So that line can be running down your center and the point can go up or down that center line. Or those lines could be here where your arms overlap and the point are going up and down those lines or they can be out where your arms are in extension and they're going up and down those lines. So the more you're directly going up or down that line, the nicer it's going to look. So if you spin a poi in a circle, at each focus point, at each quadrant, it's going a, a, a straight direction. So he, right here, it's going straight down. If I were to let go right there, the poi would continue to the ground. Uh, if it's going this way, at that moment it's going straight up. So along the bottom it's going straight that way, and along the top it's say going, you know, this way or this way. So if you're trying to do a stall here, you want to, first you look at where, say you want it down your center line, the point needs to be coming down your center line. The poi is going down the center line right at this point, so that's where you want to basically do your stall like that. But what most people do is they reach too far. They reach, they have to probably go over that line. So it doesn't do a nice stall. It goes kerflop and doesn't work. So you need to learn to let the poi travel straight along a line, up, down, to the sides, without crossing that line. And some physical feedback really helps. And that's why we've brought you to a wall. So pick a real wall, or a pillar, or maybe a really smooth tree, or some really strong glass that you know you're not going to break, uh, but something that's going to give you some actual physical feedback. It's good to start with kind of shortened up poi, and soft poi, especially, you know, you don't hurt what you're spinning against. And you spin your poi next to the wall so that it's just barely brushing um, the wall, and look at the point where it's brushing so I can see the point that I'm brushing. And what you're going to do as it brushes past that point, you're going to try to really quickly reach in and touch that point and pull back. Then it's going up the wall, and as it brushes that point, you're going to try to reach in and touch the point and pull back. In the beginning, you'll maybe reach too early and you'll hit the wall. Oh, sorry. The pack of poi. Um, or you'll wait too long and the poi will have a chance to swing away from the wall. So if you're going down, that would look like this. You'd wait too long, and it would do that. It, it, this will take a lot, this will take a bunch of practice. But with the wall, you've got feedback on what's happening, and you'll, you'll intuitively practice much, uh, improve much faster. So you'll just basically spend a lot of time going, you stall down the wall, stall up the wall, stall down the wall, stall up the wall, stall down the wall, stall up the wall, stall down the wall, stall up the wall. And ideally you don't want to hit the wall, you want the poi to travel straight up the wall and straight down the wall. Not easy to do. So you don't have to worry about getting it perfect perfect, but this will get you there. Doom, 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 up the wall, doom, 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 down the wall, doom, 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 up the wall. Dum, 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 down the wall. And you'll get a sense of where that line is and how to stall along it. And uh, that may make a huge difference. Once you've got that tactile feedback, uh, then your body will understand it really quick. And before you know it, you go back to stalling in the air. And what's going to happen? That line becomes imaginary again. So that point where one poi is going up and one down, if you imagine a line there, one goes up the line while one goes down the line. And then the lines can be on the sides or far away from me, or they can be along the top and bottom. 
Uh, and it, it all starts to be really obvious once you've used something in the real world. So, that's, uh, that's what you needed to know. <laughs>